Hey everyone, Kevin here at Riverbend Nature Center wanting to talk about turtles, tortoises, and terrapins. Those three terms are used to describe a variety of hard-backed uh, reptiles that are found all throughout the world. And I'm going to go ahead and start with the tortoise. And uh, here's Esme. You've probably seen her in a prior video, but Esme is the gopher tortoise. And tortoises are land-based. And uh, you can see she is what in America we'd consider to be a true tortoise. She's got the big heavy shell those big heavy legs and she can't swim at all. She'd sink like a rock if you were to put her in the water. And that's kind of what we'd describe to be a tortoise. And it's a little weird because then you have things like box turtles, like Athena over here. Here's Athena. Whoop. Athena is an ornate box turtle. She's a female so she's not as colorful as the males are. And uh, it's a little weird that you'd call her a box turtle when she would fit the description of a tortoise. Or that's where things get a little weird because box turtles are in the same family of turtles as the red-eared slider and other American pond turtles are. The family is Amididae, meaning that she genetically is more closely related to Scooter right here than to that gopher tortoise that I just uh, showed you. So technically she is just a land-based turtle. And the term turtle is usually t uh, used to describe aquatic or semi-aquatic turtles that you can find. And uh, the red-eared slider is a pretty uh, textbook turtle here. You can see she's got the webbed feet. She's got little digging claws for digging in the uh, water. Uh, Scooter's actually being very well behaved. You can see how colorful she is. But turtles don't always look like this. Turtles come in a uh, variety of shapes. Like here is a yellow mud turtle. His name is Hamlet. And uh, he would be considered to be a true turtle too because he is mostly aquatic. He doesn't really leave the water much. but kind of a drastic shape dif uh, difference there. And then um, as far as color goes, uh, you could have turtles as colorful as this thing right here. This is Speedy. Speedy is a thing called a Florida red belly turtle. And he's got kind of a more domed shell. He's a little less hydrodynamic than say, oh, this turtle over here, which has got a fun keel going down its back. This little guy who's flopping around a whole bunch, this is Frankie, and he's a thing called a Texas map turtle. And these are what uh, most people would consider to be true turtles. And uh, of course, if you want to talk about weird turtles, then you have the biggest ones of them all, the uh, snapping turtles, as far as freshwater turtles go. The uh, largest turtles, of course, are going to be the uh, oceanic sea turtles. Uh, largest turtle in the world is the leatherback sea turtle and it's going to be up to eight feet long. It's pretty big. I want to be able to hold it in front of a camera. And uh, I mean there's Bowser. You can see he's uh, he looks real different from those pond sliders. Go ahead and put him back up because he's getting angry. And that brings me to the uh, term terrapin. Terrapins are sometimes used to describe semi-aquatic turtles. We're going to go ahead and get Scooter back up here. Some people would consider the red-eared slider to be a uh, more of a terrapin than a turtle. But the thing about the word terrapin as it comes from an Algonquin word for a turtle, used to describe a type of turtle in the eastern United States, you can find in East Texas, called the diamondback terrapin. So uh, it's a terrapin is just kind of a, a vernacular thing. And truth be told, all of it is. I mean, you can say turtle, you can say tortoise. They're all turtles. That's the only thing you really need to know. Matter of fact, while some people would consider this to be a terrapin or a turtle, over in Europe, some countries uh, would consider this to be a tortoise, is what they would call it. So there's really no scientific backing in those terms. They're just descriptive terms that uh, we like to use around. Anyway, I hope y'all learned something uh, about turtles here, and I'll have to catch y'all next time.